Hi, I'm Zach Faganson with Miami Today, and I'm here in Homestead for an interview with Mayor Stephen Bateman. During his first few months in office, Mr. Bateman said his biggest accomplishments have been simply cleaning up and beautifying the city and also bringing in a brand new charter school as well as a mast academy from Miami-Dade Public Schools. In the long term, he's hoping to set the work to get two Florida Power and Light nuclear power plants going and also keeping close touch with the military because their base here is a big part of Homestead's economy. Short-term go goals, again, are back to better education. We, 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 we stood strong and fast to create our first charter high school, which, is, which has been done. Um, we, we've also talked about cleaning the city up. We're working on it, and in our first year, um, the city will be uh, significantly different than what it, what it looked like last year. Um, we, we hope to strengthen our police department uh, a little more, keep, you know, tighten up on crime, safety. Um, those are those are, are some of the goals that we've set. You know, we we did a visioning visioning session, sure. and through, uh, from that visioning session, you know, we came up with things like uh, quality of life. How do we improve quality of life in Homestead? We have a 37-acre park that's coming online, fully funded by through CDGB grants and and other types of um, uh, of uh, CRA uh, monies and and and, and, uh, and grants. Um, we st we've broke ground on that. We hope this year, uh, before the end of the year, to have the four soccer fields done, mm -hmm. uh, two or three of the pavilions built on that on that site. So on the east side of town, we hope to bring you know a little better uh, quality of life uh, park and recs wise. I, I think that um, if if we'll continue to support some of the some of the big economic engines that we have around us, like the Air Force Base, mm -hmm. we just recently uh, uh, finished uh, the AQ study, mm -hmm. which is the fly zone that, where they fly in and out of here every day. We work uh, very closely with them to to um, to make sure that they're happy, mm -hmm. and keeping them happy will keep uh, hopefully BRAC Base Realignment and Closure Committee that travels around the United States. Closing bases, uh, sure. uh, you know, in large amounts every year. And we've been lucky. We've been through probably four of those, and we've survived all of them. Mm -hmm. I see Homestead Air Force Base growing right now, mm -hmm. and um, that that engine is uh, is a strong one financially for us. Um, next to that would be um, continue to support um, FPNL. FPNL um, would like to bring on two new nukes, nuclear power uh, facilities, uh, four four thousand. Uh, people per unit mm -hmm. um, at a starting salary of fifty thousand sure. um, dollars so those are my long-range goals is to, to get behind those uh, those um, economic engines if you will and support them so that um, we do have um, sustainability mm -hmm. and we do have some financial uh, wiggle room mm -hmm.